Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're doing up prime grade ribeye tomahawk steaks on the Rectech RTB380 Bullseye. Enjoy. Alright, so step number one here. So this has got the prime tomahawks, horrible pink, I'll show them to you. But anyways, we are going to salt brine these bad boys overnight. So to do so, just going straight with kosher salt, going heavy. These are some thick monsters. It hit all sides. And we're just gonna let them sit in the fridge there for about 24 hours. And I cannot wait for tomorrow. Alright, it is go time. So we're cooking it indirectly today. Or technically, we're doing reverse here, I guess, on this. So we got these monsters here, so we'll lay them out. I'm going to stick this one right here, and I'm actually going to temperature probe it. So the one thing I found out so far with the probe, it's a one-way unit, so I can't come in this way. Plug her in. Just want to get in the center point. Just like so. So my plan here is, we'll wait till she gets up to about 90 degrees or so. We'll flip it once, wait till we get to about the uh, 150, 120 mark. Then it's their time, we're gonna crank this sucker up to rat mode. All right, let's check out the PID controller here real quick. So one of the cool things about this grill, again, I didn't really like that this was one way into the unit. That's all right, I'll get over it. So you go down here to your temperature display. Now right now, I'm on my set point, which is 325. You click it up, actual temperature in there is 320. And my meat probe is 37. And I had those big monsters sitting out for about a half hour or two beforehand. So this could take a while, but that's all right. Getting it actual. There's your meat probe. There's your set point. So we're going to keep it on meat probe. So since I've never used this probe before, I figured I better test it out. So I'm sending it 63 degrees on there. Oh, they are looking fantastic. My probe is 80 degrees up today, so it's 80 degrees, so it's settling down here. So I'm saying 64, this is saying 66. Definitely within, um, thinking it's good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these guys while I'm in here. have a cotton glove on.
continue to cook. All right, so I've reached 105 in the terminal. Give him one more flip here. Once I reach 110, I'm going to actually pull the probe, crank it on the right over here, pop the lid. Let's see it. Alright, so I just crest with 110 there, I'm at 111. So I'm actually going to crank it up from 325. All the way to wrap up. So, I'm going to keep an eye on my temp here once my internal hits about 115. Then I'm going to pop the lid, pull that probe, and then we're just going to open the lid and do some drink. Let's hear it. Alright, we've hit 115 internal. Again, crank prep to ride mode. Clean this thing out fully before this. Alright, so we still have the bone burning in there. 
Yeah, I'm not going to give him a call tomorrow. I don't know. I just, I do not trust this thing. Not to be a grease fire magnet. But anyways, let's see if we save these steaks, have a little taster, and give them a final thought. Alright, let's see if we save these things. So we've been, it's been sitting here for about uh, 10 minutes. I'm trying to fall the bone. This one's really charred. I'm just so disappointed. I really want to like this grill. It's not allowing me to like it. Oh, let's take a look here. Actually, before I even bring these inside, I'm just going to trim off that fat there. Alright, I'll slice it over here. Not too shabby. Alright, I'm just going to slice these up and we'll be back for a taster. Alright, it's popping for a quick taster and then I'll come back once I collect my thoughts here. So right off the board, there we go, this one's all done. Still very tender, um, very charry, as you can tell. Um, I guess I, I really can't give you guys a good uh, good take on what it tastes like on that one. Let me see if I can find another one. The other steak wasn't so bad. Take a little bite, see how this guy here. On that one, I really get the um, really get that salt brine. I don't know. Um, let's just recap it right here. So number one, I don't trust that grill at this point. I'm going to call customer service tomorrow and try to figure it out. But it shouldn't. All it's doing is reverse searing some steaks. You shouldn't have a flame and raging fire coming out of the thing. I just don't trust it. I don't know if it's mine, I don't know if it's all of them, I don't know what. But my food basically tastes like crap. I don't know, I'm frustrated. So, I guess that's all I got. Hey, if you like the video, hit that like. I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right about there. Another video right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.